Hello everyone and welcome to my first actual how-to video. Now this video is going to kind of be a three-in-one how-to video. I'm going to tell you about a website, I'm going to tell you about a program, and I'm going to tell you how to do something. But this video is mainly about how to do something. I'm going to tell you how to make a animated GIF picture without using Photoshop and instead using all completely free to use and download Windows operating system programs. Now, the first thing you want to do is bring up your Internet Explorer and search for download. Next, click on CNETdownload.com. This website is great for finding all kinds of free and useful software. Okay, next at the top is a search box. Make sure it's on software. Search for Photoby. Click on Photoby 4.8. It works only on Windows, and I'm using Windows Vista Home Premium. Now, Photoby is the program that we're going to be using to make our GIF, and it has a built-in GIF animator. And it's not a bad all-around image editor and all. I mean, it's really nice. You can read the description right here and see what operating systems it works on. I know it works on Vista. And you click on Download Now. This It's in blue to download it yourselves, but I already have it, so... Anyway, after you've downloaded it and installed it, bring up your Photoby, and at the top, click on Layer, and then click on Import Images as New Layers on Current Photo Panel. That's a mouthful. You can import as many images as you want, but the more images you use, the more processing power it takes, so work with it. And Photoby is not a glitchy program, and it ha I think it's only messed up one time for me, but anyway, it's a really nice program. Anyway. Next thing you want to do is go over here to your layer manager and click on z from zero to however many number of pictures and make sure they're in the right order that you want them because from zero to whatever number that's the order those particular pictures are going to be in the GIF and of course they're numbered right here in the layer manager so zero, one, two, three, etc. Make sure they're in the right order and if a picture is out of place or something just highlight it or double click it or check the little box right here either way and click on the up or down green arrows and if there's a picture in there or a new layer that you don't want just highlight it again or check it and click this red minus button right here but anyway if they're in the order that you want them go back up to the top and click on GIF animation then click on animation control panel that brings up this box you can widen it and lengthen it to fit your pictures that are going to be in your GIF or whatever Let's see okay now Again, make sure your pictures are in the right order. And of course, they're framed, they're, they're labeled like frame 1, frame 2, frame 3, etc. Anyway, now something very important. Each individual frame in the GIF is a default of 200 milliseconds. That's how long that particular picture will last until it goes on to the next picture in the GIF. The higher the number, the longer that particular picture will last in the GIF, and the longer your GIF will be. The lower the number, the less you'll see of that particular picture in the GIF, and the shorter your GIF will be. So, if you make it like 50 milliseconds, that's really, really fast. But if you make it like 1,000 milliseconds, that's pretty slow. But, anyway, I would play you a demo of this GIF, but I cannot screen record and play the GIF at the same time. It won't let me. I've tried it. Anyway, if you want all of your frames in your GIF to be the same number of milliseconds, like, let's say, 500 first thing you do to do that is click on frame 1 and then type in the number however many milliseconds you want like 500 for example and click on this check mark this little box that says uniform delay as the first frame that will make each individual frame 500 milliseconds or whatever you number you put for frame 1 without you having to click on each individual frame and changing the number in this box right here it's really handy it's it's a great way to make a gif real fast but anyway if you want to play your animation of a gif or play a demo of it just press this green arrow button right here it says play animation and if you made a mistake in your frames or you know a picture's not in the right place that you want it or there's a picture that you don't want in it just press this x button right here and go back to your layer manager and edit you know moving up and down or minus a picture or whatever and when you got your gif just the way you want it press on this blue button right here it's save animation choose a place to save it to that you can access or ease of access give it a file name it's automatic it's automatically on graphics interchange format 
and click save and that's it if you have any more questions please leave a comment in my channel or on this video or send me a youtube message thank you